We've been hearing from cities and schools, but what about performance venues like Nationwide Arena and The Shot, or if you want to see a play at one of Columbus's theaters? New at 11, 10 TV's Olivia Eugenio explains what you need to know before you go out to see that show. Exactly two years ago today, this was inside of Nationwide Arena. Today is the two year anniversary of our our, our Dan and Shay concert. The show was sold out. Which was our last concert before everything shut down. Ornish has passed. But after the decision to lift the indoor mask mandate in the city of Columbus. Masks are no longer required at Nationwide Arena. Also changing their policy. For the Schottenstein Center in Cavelli, um, the mask mandate is effective immediately. This comes after OSU decided to change its policy to masks optional on Friday for most indoor spaces. But for the shot and Cavelli, it's effective immediately. But there is one organization that decided to keep masks mandatory for the time being until they become optional for the most part. And that's Kappa or Columbus Association for the Performing Arts. In all of our venues as of April 4th, we are dropping both our mask policy of mask requirement and our vaccination requirement as well. Chad Whittington is the president and CEO of Kappa, where masks and proof of vaccination or negative test will still be required for about a month. And we felt like we needed to give people a little bit of notice. We're asking people to set in large numbers and close quarters. A lot of people have bought tickets on the expectation that we were going to have that mask mandate and the vaccination policies in place. So we wanted to give everybody some time to to adjust to the changes that we announced. But Whittington says some artists and shows could require masks. It will be up to the performers. Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. Now, employees of Nationwide and The Shot will also have the option to not wear a mask unless they work for a private food vendor, which could require them.